Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel, and uh, this is to answer a couple of questions that I've had, and also to help everybody get acquainted with, you know, know what version you have of the uh, Texan PL330. It's important. So right now, the only seller that I would recommend for the Texan PL330 is Anonco because it's the only seller that you are sure that you have the updated version with the updated firmware that fixed the bugs within this receiver. So if you see it on eBay everywhere, beware, you might have a version that has an older firmware that has the reverse tuning bug on SSB, for example. How do you know what version you have? First of all, the official version at release for export is 3305 for the firmware version. You need at least 3305. I'm sure as time goes by, maybe there will be upgrades and there will be even um, different firmware versions in, in a year or two. But for now, 3305 is the correct version you need for the Texan PL330. So if you have purchased one, if you're not sure, if you want to just verify, do I have the correct firmware? So this one is the Chinese version. My firmware has, the, of course, the SSB a reverse tuning SSB bug. But if you want to know what version you have, you have a button here called VFVM. With the radio off, you press and hold until all the segments in the display will be lit. And then you let go. When you let go, give it a little bit of time. On the upper right, you will see a number. That's the firmware version. 3303 is my firmware version, just before the clock gets back. So that's how you verify your firmware version. Like I said, you should be at 3305 or later. If you are not at 3305, you probably have the Chinese buggy version of the radio. And of course, there's no harm if you buy it from anyone else than Anonco. Do ask if the firmware version is 3305. If they tell you a lower number, don't buy it. You have a buggy version. That's very important. The bugs are not that crazy, but they could be annoying. And, you know, you want to have the correct version, honestly. The other thing here is also um, to uh, note that you cannot update the firmware off of this radio. It has to be done by the manufacturer. So don't think you're going to buy the 3303 and upgrade the firmware at home. It doesn't work like that, unfortunately. It would be really cool if they would do it, but nope, it's upgradable only by the manufacturer. So uh, that's the thing to know about the Texan PL330. Once again, want to know the firmware? Simply VFVM. You press and hold until all the segments and wait for the number to appear on the upper right. Like I said, you should be at 3305. I'm at 3303, as you see here, just before the clock appears again. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching.